let me ask you a question. Okay? If you don't accept Jesus, can you go to heaven? No. Okay, so let me ask you a scenario, right? Okay. And, and, and so, there's a girl who is, doesn't believe in Jesus. Let's say she's Hindu, right? 14, 15, 18 year old girl. Okay. And a man, a Christian man, cuts her, cuts her up, cuts her. But he believes in Jesus. Who goes to heaven? If she doesn't believe in Jesus? She does not believe in Jesus. If, he, if she has not re like received yes. or trusted or believed the fact that... She does not believe in Jesus. She's Hindu. Yeah. Then she is eternally separated. So yeah. she's going to go to hell and he the is going to go to heaven. If you, he, you, guys, you guys, I can't believe you're telling me this. I cannot believe you're saying this. And I'm really sad. You're saying a is going to go to heaven and the poor innocent girl that got... It's going, to, it's going to be separated from hell, heaven, and go to hell? She doesn't know the Lord, yes. That is, that is, that. You, you can't stand, believe that. Well, they're both going to stand before God, and He's going to, he's going to be the fair and loving judge. The, ma so, the massacre is... Who raped a little girl and her is going to go to heaven, because, and the poor innocent girl is going to go to hell? As, as I've been saying from the... Come on, you believe that? Really? Can I, can I ask her? Let me just. Do you really believe that? Just, just tell me. Do you really believe that? I just, I just want to hear if you really believe that. I would think as a human being you wouldn't believe that. Let alone a person who believes in God. Do you really believe that? Look at the reading. Just tell me yes or no. Do you believe that? Yes. What you're doing right now. That is so sad. I'm, I'm really sad. I mean, to be honest with you, I'm really like my heart is saddened by hearing two. Is you're trying to make a show? I'm not. I'm really not. I really wanted to know this answer, and and I tell you from my heart, I was hoping you would give me the other answer. You would say no. That's not just. Okay. Let me ask you something. If Allah deceived the Jews and he didn't deceive the Jews, we already went through this. Let me finish. If Allah deceived the Jews and made him think that they were. Jesus on the cross, all it did that, he deceived the Jews. How do you know that he's not deceiving you with the Quran? Excellent. See, now because you couldn't answer, you're, you're switching back oh, to something. Wait, that, I, can I, I finish? Uh, she asked me a question. Should I answer or should I go to her? Like, no, which, answer me. Should I answer or should please, I go to you? Please. Okay. I want to know. Sure, let me tell you. Allah didn't deceive the Jews. I already explained that to you. Just as the example I gave to you, that if, if he comes and you're me and he saves me and puts somebody who would betraying me in my place that's not a deception and he you may believe that it, it was you. you may misconceive that it's me but Allah didn't do some magic on them this is your misconception you can look to the Quran and hadith and bring me evidence to the contrary right so this is a misconception that you have about deception I've already answered it and the only reason you're going to it now is because you know this conversation took you to a place where you're not comfortable it's only because I know Go ahead. that you're making a show of this. I, I'm really not because we're I'm really honest and you're trying to make who, who cares about the film if we were off the film, would you give me a different answer? No. So then it's not a show, it's your answer. But whenever you're asking Go ahead. leading questions... It's not a leading question, yes, it's an honest are. question. I really wanted an honest answer. And you told me that a who, who will go to heaven and the poor girl who's and the innocent child is going to go to hell just just blows my mind. If I, if, if, you know what, turn the camera off. I don't even care about the camera. I'm just telling you... Let me ask some about Muslim. I thought she wanted to ask something. Well, can I ask you about Islam? Huh? Can I ask you about Islam? Yeah, can I answer your question? So, from the get-go, I told you that sin has more to do. Like, it doesn't just have to do with your actions. It is the very fact that your flesh is now corrupt. So that that's what Christ had to say. So that didn't sin? He did sin. And he murdered an innocent person. And he did the wrong and thing. And he's going to heaven, and that poor innocent girl is going to hell. So what it has you to believe that? From the from the beginning, what I said was that Christ came to atone for those. For he did, yes. He and did. the innocent go to hell if they don't believe in Jesus. If they don't believe in Jesus. They're That's, not innocent. I'm sorry. If they don't, believe <laughs> it's a crime in Jesus, not to believe in Jesus. Innocent. It's not that it's a crime to believe in Jesus. It's just based on what the Scripture says. And I know that. Well, that I appreciate. Doesn't, I appreciate your time. Thank you. I, I understand that that doesn't necessarily sound to be, like justice to it you. It doesn't. Or and to I you. know that you don't like these answers, but I, don't. I have done my best to be completely honest with you. I appreciate your honesty, but I'm, I'm, I'm being very honest with you. Mm -hmm. I feel, I don't feel anger, I feel sad. Mm -hmm. The two young women, intelligent, who I would hope are moral human beings, are standing in front of me telling me that an innocent young girl will go to hell and the
will go to heaven. Like that, she doesn't that, the Lord. So that's, that's another reason. That's that, shocking. That's another reason that we're here, man. It's like if we believe, if we really believe that innocent people are then going to heaven. Then we can go and, and, and go to heaven. No. Thank you. If we believe that <laughs> people are actually going to be eternally separated from God, then yeah, we're going to go around. We're going to be telling people how to be with God. Right. You know? Yeah. And, and if you actually have the Lord, which that man obviously is not living his life in a way that... But that doesn't matter because Jesus paid Lord. for all his sins anyway. Well, right? If <laughs> right? he actually knows the Lord, uh -huh. most likely wouldn't be conducting himself that way. I think I there are plenty of Christians that have been and, and priests that kids and stuff. So I mean, there are definitely yeah. a lot of pastors, people, Christian as there well. There are definitely so. a lot of people that claim to be Christians that right. do those things, but you yeah. don't know for sure if they're I saved don't. or not. I don't. I, don't know I can only go by what they sure say. Right? Who knows really, what's in their we're heart? Not the judge. We're not. Yeah. <laughs> Islam's core beliefs are we believe in one Creator, one Allah, right? That one Creator is not a man, it's not a woman, it's not a child, it's not a monkey, it's not... It's that one great Creator that created the whole universe and what's more than the universe and whatever else is out there, right? That one Creator created us with love and, and, and mercy for us. He sent guidance to us. Those were prophets from Adam to Noah to Abraham and Moses and Jesus and Muhammad. Peace and blessings be on all of them. We love them all. We equally believe in all of them. Every Muslim here loves Jesus. Every Muslim here loves Moses. Yes. And none of us will ever make fun of Jesus. None of us will make fun of Moses. None of us make cartoons or anything hurtful because we love them as being the true prophets and examples sent to us by God. Yeah. That God can do whatever he likes. He can make Adam and Eve without a father or mother. And that doesn't mean they're physical children of God, but they are creations of God. Okay. And he made Jesus without a father as a miracle. And we believe that. We believe Virgin Mary, I, we believe that she was innocent, unlike the Jews who would make accusations against her. We don't. We love Mary. We don't worship her, but we love her. We love Jesus. We don't worship him either, but we, we, we believe in him. We believe that true message that he was not a physical son of God. You could say son in a term of endearment, like we find in the Bible, other people being called sons as well. I'm sure you're aware of it. So you could say maybe in term of endearment, but physically God has no children. And that one loving great God judges each one of us on our deeds. So your belief, I'm sorry? I said that's unfortunate. Well, I think it's fortunate because that God is so merciful that even if you sin, but you repent, he can wipe away your sin without himself or his son or anybody else. I think that's fortunate. I think that's just and merciful. So that is Islam for you. Mm -hmm. Think about it. Thanks for Keep in touch. For us. And thanks for Thank you. Uh, having our you have a blessed day. Thank you. Thank you.